Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're here at the Temple of Wind. We got the rainbow thread, we got the garb, we saved. Let's just go ahead and go into the, what is it called, sanctuary, technically? The air's grown even more stagnant. It feels almost malicious. I might be sick. Wait, something's here. <gasps> no! A monster's taken hold of the crystal! Orthros! The beast from the scriptures? Bringer of doom! Now what? It stands between us and the crystal's awakening. Then I don't suppose we've much choice. Alright, we're fighting a mythical scripture creature. Fun. Okay, does it have two heads? It does have two heads. Okay. Then we're gonna go ahead and default. It's gonna brave twice. Black. I'm guessing fire is good on the ice and blizzard's good on the yeah, so let's let's go ahead and do fire on the ice. F fire on the ice. We're just gonna do a normal Ooh, this is new. Pierce is the default effect. Let's just go ahead and use it on that guy. And we can go ahead and use um fire on this guy. I think that that should Okay, 320, that's not bad. It is his weak point, I was correct. They are fire nice. I thought so. I thought they'd be fire nice. Okay, well then we can burn these two down pretty quickly and easily. Because we know exactly what to hit him with. Okay, then what we're going to do is default. Default. Let's just default for a little while. Yeah, maybe we'll just default. Just for a little, little bit. We'll heal up and then we'll send a barrage of things out. Let's go ahead and use white. Okay, let's do a cure on all allies. Okay. Bite. Of course he bites ring a bell. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use strike. Resist while attacking. Let's just try and see how much damage that does. Go ahead and use fire on the ice still. Um oh, oh, I see strike too. Just look at your strike. And then fire again. Okay. That's not a bad amount of damage, actually. Considering. Okay, Anya would probably do more damage with just attacking with her fists. Okay, noted. I'll just use her fists then. I'm not gonna do that. But definitely, Adia and Ringabel both need to use magic constantly. Okay, and I, I, do, I don't know how much damage this thing takes. But I need to be careful because I don't want to kill it and then have like 12 turns of fire going at the fire guy because I might just heal him for 12 turns. So I'm trying to be careful here. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to brave a bunch. No, cure all allies. I'm just going to use him as a cure mule. Fire. I'm just going to go ahead and do the martial arts. Uh, hidden dragon. Same thing. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm just hoping to kill him and then not waste too much more magic after the fact. And then Tiz will go ahead and heal everyone up nice and strong so we won't have any issue. There we go. Everyone's almost up to full. Look at that. Except... Idea doesn't, doesn't have much HP, which kind of sucks. Oh! Perfect, it's dead. Okay, now... Oh, I guess I shouldn't do it. Let's just use a single cure on just Idea. And yeah, now we can go full out. So this thing should be Blizzard. And now, now we're going to go crazy on this thing. Hidden Dragon, since now there's only one of them and we know... We can't, our attacks can't default over to the other one and accidentally heal them. Now we're gonna go crazy. Blizzard. Alright, let's do that. Weak point. You'd love to see it. Okay, so we won't kill it in one turn, most likely, but um, Tiz will be ready to heal if needed. If really needed. Cure. Yeah, let's get Adia up and running here. Okay, 
Yeah, it's a pretty cool boss, honestly. It's, it's not a hard boss if you've just got, like, a couple brain cells in your head that, like, once in a while smash together to make, like, a little spark. It's not too hard to beat, but... It does look cool, though. It's one of the it's one of the cool-looking bosses, I think. And, you know, it's got that, um... What's that dog in Hades? I know its name. It's in here, but I just can't... I can't say it. Um, let's just go ahead and heal. But, also to give credit, I am also over-leveled. Still, probably, so... You know, if you're under level, of course, it's still probably going to be hard. Okay, give it a bit, a couple more cures here. Give it another cure. And then we'll finish this thing off. Hellfire, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and do an auto. I'm just going to do the exact same thing that I did last time. Just spam these blizzards. Spam the blizzards. It does, like, there we go. Didn't even need that many more, actually. Okay. Okay, we got a few magic items. You know, we love to see it. It's over. Somehow. Just how long has that thing been inside the crystal? The details can wait. First comes the rite of awakening. I'll second that. I'm in no state to deal with any of that beast's friends right now. Hurry, Agnes! You need to get ready! Right. I'm ready, Aerie. Then let's review how the rite works one last time. I'm to focus my prayers on the crystal, yes? Right. That will naturally align your breathing with the crystal's rhythm. Your life force will stir it awake. That will return the crystal to its normal state. But you mustn't stop there. Keep praying! If you excite the crystal to just short of the breaking point, then release that energy all at once, its effects will spread far and wide. There are a few important things to remember, though. First, you are not to stop until I say. The flow of energy into the crystal could reverse. At its worst, that could be fatal. Second, once I give the signal, you have to stop immediately. Any further, and this time, it'll be the crystal that breaks. I understand. Last, everyone needs to keep their distance and stay absolutely silent. The right places a huge burden on the Vestal, physically and mentally. But even if she seems to be in pain, you can't come near her or the crystal, no matter what. What do you mean a huge burden? Is there any danger to Agnes? There's nothing to worry about. I'll be right here watching to make sure of that. Now, everyone but Anya, step back. All ready to begin? Ready. Oh, it's this button. Okay, it's R. Okay, pressing X, pressing X, pressing X. I need to keep pressing? Eri! Is it done? Not yet! Just a little longer! Eri said she'll tell you. Just keep going. Eri said she'll tell you. Don't worry about it. More! Keep going! Let's get this crystal awakened, boyos. Still not enough! You can do this! Just keep going. Let's get this crystal up and running. Stop! That's it! <clears throat> Did it work? The Rite of Awakening was a great success! You were amazing, Agnes! I never dreamed it'd go this well! Oh. Good. Now the wind should return. That was supposed to happen then? My heart nearly stopped. I thought something had gone wrong and the whole thing was exploding. I'll bet they saw that flash from Anshine. That light. I feel as if I've seen that light before. Yeah, 
Your memories return? No, just... I can't see it clearly. But I remember a hand reaching out through the light. A woman's hand. There he goes again. Are you all right, Agnes? Anything we can do? I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, look, look! One of the gems on my brooch is shining! Oh! That's proof of the wind crystal's release! Cool. Then the entire brooch will look like that? Once we've finished with all four crystals? That's right! Only three to go! Three more times. Well, for now, let's head back to town. The wind should be returning, right? True. We have to finish off your support as your support of the castle. Okay. Oh, so we can put more stuff. Okay. Proof, not promises. The wind ought to return now. I'm sure the people of Anchem will be very happy. Yes, with the wind return, the kingdom can go back to its formal, peaceful ways. Let's hurry back and report. I want to see the lousy... I'm still mad at what he did to you before, Agnes. Mark my words, he's black as tar. You agree with me, don't you? You have to. Not all of us are so set on seeing the world in terms of black and white, Adia. Our task was to awaken the wind crystal, and so we have. It has nothing to do with making anyone squirm. Just watch, though. I bet he'll try to make everyone work just as hard, even with the wind back. Well, but that's not... Still, it is, isn't it better if we head him off before he gets the chance? Head him off now? Step one in making it darned clear that it was Agnes that brought the wind back. And how do we do that? Talk is cheap. Show them proof. Okay. We go back to town then. I'm going to go ahead and save on the overworld because... Yeah. But... Um, so now we need to move on to these back to the side quest where we need to um, Go at night and do something in the clock towers That is our next move here I should probably start grinding soon. This is probably the last dungeon that I'm still over leveled for so Soon I should probably grind. Maybe I'll, cause I'm gonna record this entire ta day today. Maybe once I'm done, I'll just spend some more time grinding. Hmm. Do the streets seem noisy to anyone else? Ah, oh, over there, it's the Weasel King. Hearken to me, my children. After abandoning our kingdom to its fate, the Vestal then came slinking back to these borders to beg my forgiveness. And forgive her I did, for I saw not to be gained from excoriating a girl for her egregious failures. My clemency was met with willful pride. She promised to return the wind to motion single-handedly. Yet, what has come of it? Nothing will save the southern sky set ablaze with a malefic light. The Vestal failed to restore the wind and brought still greater calamity upon our heads. As proof, look no further than the stagnant air around you. I can but blame my own wishful ignorance for this latest turn of events. I ought never have entrusted this matter to a relic of a bygone era. The Crystal Orthodoxy is a dream of the past, the Vestal obsolete. Her inability to ensure the Crystal's function is manifest. Join me, my people! Let us rely upon the Vestal no longer! It is our own efforts that will see this kingdom saved. The labor service is your sacred duty, your pride as citizens. All who work beyond 20 hours a day will receive a royal commendation. And in the wake of this tribulation, Ansheim will emerge a new land. Our new history begins now.
What? The Vestal? Worry no longer, people of Ansheim. I have just awakened the Crystal of Wind! Lying witch! Then why does the air remain still? It's true. There's no wind. The Grand Mill isn't turning! The King may be right. <gasps> Don't be afraid. The footsteps you've carved will be a guide to these people, Agnes. They just need a light to show the way. A spark of hope. Please, give me the courage. I ask that you listen. The winds that washed over this land without end for so long stopped. A vast darkness split the earth in the kingdom of Kaldisla. An entire village was devoured. The seas fester. Fish wash up upon our shores, twisted and lifeless. Even ships are unsafe from this corrosion. All the world's people, all life, is crying out in pain. Your suffering is mirrored in every corner of existence. I was dispatched by His Majesty to leave these borders and survey the damage firsthand. My conclusion is absolutely certain. The four crystals have been clouded over with a powerful darkness. On my return, I found the crystal of wind in the clutches of a terrible monster. Its influence had sealed away the crystal's light entirely. Ha! <laughs> you reward our patience with fabrications and fantasy. Utterly ridiculous. This is no fantasy! The beast fell before me and my companions! I present this to you as proof! Those chains! The chains that circled the beast Orthros! The Tempest Braid? That can't... It's only a legend! A story from the old crystal of scriptures! But here they are. The Vestals brought us Tempest Braid. Then... Then Orthros was no legend, and the Vestals slain it. Preposterous! The chains are fake, L like your ridiculous story. There's still no wind. The wind is coming. Two thousand years the Vestals have prayed. Their lives have been the Crystal's nourishment. And now... Now they feed the wind! It's... She's right. The wind... The wind has returned! Ah, the winds are back! The Grand Mill is turning! I've reached them. Of course you did. And they love you for it. They found new hope in your words. You were amazing, Agnes. And Vestals are a force for good. That speech struck any doubt from my mind. Naturally. I knew it from the moment I first saw you. They're all calling out to you. Go on and answer them. You're a savior to the kingdom, Lady Vestal! A savior to all of us! And at such a young age, the Vestals are a blessing upon this world! Forgive us for failing to aid you when the wind stopped. We were lost! Please, continue to guide the wind and this nation's people. Lead and we will follow! I thank you all, but I fear I cannot stay. The shadow of danger has been driven from Anchime, but darkness persists 
elsewhere in the world. I must join with the other Vestals and see that all mankind is ransomed from this terrible threat. That is my duty as a Vestal of the Crystals. It pains me to leave your side again so soon. I ask your patience and your forgiveness. <gasps> she grieves not just for Anchime's pain, but that of all the world. We thought only of her own misfortunes, but the Vestal... Lady Vestal! Know that you go with all our prayers. Please help them. Help the others as you've helped us. Be strong, Lady Vestal! <sighs> I thank you. Your faith moves me beyond words. I shall see this task complete and then return to you. I swear! Uh, what perverse farce is this? This cannot be so! I shall not be undone by a... a, a child! I am king! King! And a king does not forget his enemies! Ah! <laughs> okay. So... Man, this is why I'm telling you guys why this game is so great. Do you notice throughout that entire cutscene there wasn't like even a, sing a single cringy piece of dialogue. It was moving, emotional, it was just good. You know, things like, I love Final Fantasy X, but in those types of moments Final Fantasy X would find a way to make it like, or, nah. you know, the voice lines or what they're saying or the voice. This game does not have that problem. You, They have emotion, they have speed, it's just... It's a wonderful game. I love this game. Alright, the wind's return. Yes, the wind is back. Hmm, the breeze feels incredible. Doubtly so, after a job well done. All of Anchez's people are so thankful. One girl said thanks to the wind. Her father is able to come home again. I heard we can all eat, or now we can fly kites. You should have seen the girl's grin. All the skirts ruffling in the breeze make me feel alive. Gee, I wonder who said that. In any case, we've got the window back now. Okay. So. We need to finish the side mission, though. We're not done just yet. Okay, we already bought. See, we... There he is off limits. We need to come back at night for that, if I'm correct. We need to come back at night. Let's quickly do a little save a here, because I don't want to go through all that again. And am I fully HP'd? I'm not, so we should probably... Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. I wonder... Do we need to wait until nighttime to come back, right? If I'm correct. So what happens if we go out? Departing already, Lady Vestal. Forgive me. I am Prime Minister Dominus Harina. Your words to the people shook me to my core. Between you and me, I suspect they rattled the king's cage as well. He looked positively deflated. Small wonder, having his little speech so thoroughly derailed must have been a blow to his royal ego. It will recover though. It always does. Meanwhile, where will you go from here? To Florence. Land of Radiant Flowers, and the Water Crystal. I see. But how will you manage the journey with seas unnavigable? The inner sea was spared by some merciful stroke of fate, but no port or sandy shore exists on the Florum side. You might travel by land, but the forests along the way are suffused with a noxious fog. The path is most dangerous. Seems we're blocked on all sides. Any ideas? No. But the Sage of the Yuliana Woods may know some way. Then it's to the airship and to Yuliana and beyond. Say the word, Agnes, and I shall lend wings to your every whim. Just to Yuliana, please. Fair enough. But again, before we leave, we have something to finish. The Minister's Generosity. Ah, 
Leave it to the Prime Minister. He thought of everything. Hmm. What did he give us? It's a piece of paper. Great. Don't be silly, my angel. This is a bill of goods. They'll be sent to the ship later. First off, there's food. He's arranged for bread, cured meat, salted grass beans, fruits, fruit celery, green turnips, two barrels of pickled pink eggplant, clock tower brand furaga sauce, and then a barrel of Anne Chimes Moth teeth rotting desserts. They do like their sugar. There's at least two weeks provisions here. Past food, there's ugh, birthing permission for the echelot. That'll come in handy. We can take on water, oil, even ammunition. Truly, this man is a bureaucratic wizard. Sounds like we'll have a little party waiting for us at the ship. A party? We must make for Florum as soon as humanly possible. Well, as soon as possible is at least half a day from now, given the time. Right, I think we've all earned that least much of a rest. Let's enjoy it while we can. Well, we will enjoy it once we finish this side quest. Okay. Quickly, we've got some... Okay, we opened up this land now. What, what can we do here? Oh, these are good move parts. I'm going to go ahead and get those running. Bomb fragment, get that up and running. What is this? Oh, yes, let's get this up and running. And what is this? We'll get this up and running slowly. Get this up and running. It's just, it's just place like one or two villagers in each of these. And I might not use all my villagers just for the sake of, um, you know, how many we should have at this point in the game. I'll just stick like one villager in these ones just to make it fair. Well, this is a 12 hour one. I'll stick a few in there. There we go. Okay. I think everything is being worked on at the moment somewhat. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now we need to wait until nighttime, I'm pretty sure. So, we have to wait a little while. Okay, guys, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end off the episode here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment, and support the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.